none of these are. No. <sighs> okay. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are in Maine still, um, and we just got to uh, an outdoor shopping mall. We were not sure if they would have dumpsters. I kind of thought maybe they'd have a big compactor, but they have dumpsters. So we are gonna get out. We are gonna check them and see what we can find. Ooh, they're gonna be wet. Anything in there? No. Okay. Oh, look at that though. A bunch of little like Claire's bags. Okay. Ooh, you can kind of see in it. That's all boxes. <laughs> That's where they put their boxes. <laughs> Like about the boxes of this thing. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see. Nothing so far. That one's empty. That's a big bag. Ooh. Yeah, they've got a lot of um, little decors in here for fall. I guess it's not fall anymore. Maybe turning into winter. Those bags don't have anything. That honestly is kind of unfortunate. It's everything. It would he so would probably get them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're only like halfway down this. I know we've only gone to like four. Keep going though. Maybe we'll find something before he gets to it. Kind of curious what's in uh this one. If it's like that big lots one that had this spooky guy in it. Oh yeah, look at that. Found by Angel M at 1 p.m. in clearance. And this one says, man came in, walked through, picked up a box. Huh. Interesting. But that is a pair of shoes. Um, right there. So they have looked like maybe they've been worn. Maybe someone wore them and returned them. But there's a pair of shoes. That's cool. Ooh, everything is so wet. Purpose? Yeah, maybe there's like some little notes. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Maybe someone it's else like came and lost. took the other shoes or I something. Bet they, I bet there are shoes that people left when they bought new shoes and they keep them in the lost and found and then oh. I bet they put them out here so people can take them. That's my theory. Should I leave them so someone can have them? I kind of think I want to leave them. Nah, we'll take them. I was just thinking we don't have anything else to donate right now other than food. Um, we don't have anything to take to the thrift stores, and so this is like one small item that could just kind of get lost in the truck bed uh, since we don't have other stuff. But I'll go ahead and take them. We can donate them, and that'll be better. He's getting them. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find any sporting goods. Ew, everything's wet. Everything was really wet. I really don't like touching wet paper. <laughs> That's like so gross. I feel like, look at this. These bags, people get into these bags. Uh huh. We didn't come out very early today. We're not out early. We're in a new city. Yeah. I don't see anything. All right, we're at a grocery store and they do have a compactor, but they also have these little dumpsters. Uh, and so I did want to look in them. This one has stuff in it. Oh, look at that. They might've cut them. Oh, they did cut them. Cheeses, all this Parmesan. Actually, I'm gonna take one of these. <laughs> we order pizza a lot in the hotel. Uh, just put it in our cooler. <laughs> Parmesan is uh, not something that all of the stores will give you. I mean, this is a ton of food in here. These are little apple sauces. I'm not sure. Oh, keep refrigerated. So, okay, I mean, it's kind of interesting. This one's full of like frozen foods. All the way down, 
And I took a Parmesan cheese. Oh, we're getting kicked out, maybe. Oh. Hello. Hi. Uh-uh. Not quite cold enough, but if this yeah. was cold, we'd be taking all of it. Yeah, if it was cold enough out here. All right, let's close that one up. Did you look in this one? I was just curious because it was over here too. Oh, it's got bread. Let's take that because... Oh, <laughs> you want to take that? Yeah, I'll take <laughs> Okay. So that's interesting that he like literally... Oh, he's just a delivery truck driver. Because he's waiting up there. He just rang the bell. Yeah, he's just a nice guy. Yeah, he just didn't <laughs> care. <laughs> it looks like maybe those containers are specifically for their food waste based on what it looked the like top just had now. A label, not all of them, but it said food waste packaging included. That's how they're oh, all. Oh, I mean, that's kind of awesome. It's, better. it's like so much it's better. Like, if that's how those stores do that up here. Yeah. I mean, not maybe, I don't know if all of them do, but that's like easy pickings, especially if you came at night. I mean, that's super easy. And what we were saying while we were there is if it was colder, even just what, maybe 20 degrees colder, 15 degrees colder, all that stuff would be at refrigeration temperatures. I mean, that's like really good food in there. All those yogurts and sour creams and cheeses and stuff. Cool, well we did take the Parmesan, but overall it's just cool to know that that's maybe how some of those stores do it. So we will check uh, behind those stores because we've been going to them a lot. Cool, all right, well, we're moving on. All right, this is a little local natural food store. So maybe they'll have some stuff. Uh, this is the same as yesterday. Nothing, no, yeah, nothing Yeah, see, there. all right. Yesterday when we first arrived in town, it was like pouring rain, but we did drive around and kind of just peek in some dumpsters. And this was one of those stores that we did look in. Um, and so there is nothing in it, but it does also kind of seem like one that could have potential uh, if you were just here on the right day. So, okay, well, that is the last stop uh, for us in this town and we are headed on. We're gonna get on the road and drive about 30 minutes and do some more diving. to the new city uh, and we just pulled into a store oh yeah that's got something in it it's heavy oh gross it was the raw meat one. Oh, that one's raw meat that was raw meat too okay oh, this one has something oh i'm nervous no <laughs> that one's more frozen food in there frozen bowls. It's um, actually pretty hot today. Uh, it's more frozen. And uh, so this stuff definitely is not good. Ooh, but that coffee. Oh darn, it's empty. We actually bought some of this the other day. Okay, close them up. I know, for real. Uh, but yeah, none of that frozen stuff is going to be good and definitely none of that raw chicken in there is good. Chicken might actually have been gross. <laughs> that was so gross. Okay. Yeah, that next. was gross. Are we gonna move Cause on? they're gonna open that door up. Oh, and they're doing deliveries and they're knocking. Yeah, so we could check that one right there. Uh, good, but they arrest us on site. I don't think they will. <laughs> the FedEx person arrests us on site. I don't know how they do it in Maine, okay? <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't know. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure what store this is. Let's see. Oh, it's empty. It is empty. And this is cardboard. Alrighty. Nothing there. We're going to some new spots. Oh, look. Is that a pet store? Oh, a tractor. Oh, they don't throw anything away. Yeah, they don't throw anything away here. <laughs> One time we got caught by a tractor supply employee and she literally told us that tractor supply never throws away anything valuable um, or useful or anything. <laughs> we were like, there's obviously no way that that's possibly true. Okay. So let's see, we got a big pallet. Uh, is there a way in? Huge dog house right there on the top. A uh, pallet. Okay, I don't really honestly see anything because this big dog house is on top. 
Oh, nice. You found another way. Yeah. I mean, it's like I'm sure there's like one thing in there. Maybe that employee was right, you know? <laughs> some graffiti dumpsters mm. all right let's see okay there's chips but they've all been opened you can see yeah okay nothing there cool mural though <laughs> like the slurmy one. <laughs> oh, I can see some food maybe in there too. Will you peek? Yeah. I'll peek. Nice. He found one sweet potato. A sweet potato? Wow! Look at him go. <laughs> no way. I literally don't even think I knew you could do that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like pretty rotten potatoes. Just juggling some rotten potatoes. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> I tried to grab some pretty fresh ones, but one of them I squeezed all the way into and I caught it after I threw it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so gross? That was the one I tossed. <laughs> I was like, okay. It's a restaurant. It must be a restaurant. I wonder what he's tossing. Can you tell? Not really. It's like out of a box. It's gonna be a dryer loop around and we can get some. Yeah, food. let's get some like get some documentary food. style. I'll set it like this. Expose this man. <laughs> Expose this just like a worker. Yeah, like this dude just works here and is like cleaning out the fridge. <laughs> yeah, it did look like little ice creams. Yeah, like Good morning. It is the next day now. We are in Bangor, Maine, and we're doing some more dumpster diving. It's kind of sprinkling a little bit, uh, but it's not that bad. So we're gonna check these dumpsters and see. Oh. Nothing exciting. Oh. Uh, that door is sticky. <laughs> What's he see? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right, and. Okay, some bags in here. It smells like this is the grocery stores, but. I don't see anything. Yeah. All right. Is that and last one? Oh, this one says cardboard only. Oops, they're not fully respecting. Nothing at the first spot of a new day. So we're moving on. All right, we're at a new one. This one's really full with weird, weird items. Maybe this isn't the place we thought it was. <laughs> it does. We uh, thought it was a books, a bookstore and CD store. Bunch of wood right there. You can make little corn holes out of the ones of circles. <laughs> Anything in there? It's like trash. Oh, that's got powder in it. Okay, trash in that one. Yeah, maybe it was one of the ones back there. So. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Honestly, 
Uh, maybe someone else. I'm, I'm sure someone else dives here. Somebody even commented on our last time at this same like book and record store uh, and said that they got their whole CD collection from this shop basically, so from the dumpster. And so that's cool, we found a lot. We were kind of going through it, trying to pick out maybe cooler ones or ones that we might listen to or something or just that people like in general. Uh, and we will take those to a thrift store. And then my truck has a CD player uh, and I don't have Bluetooth or anything, so we can listen to it here too. We already found our Green Day CD in the trash, so <laughs> which one did you put in? Between Nothingness and Eternity, Mahavishnu Orchestra. Oh! So intellectual. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Oh, it's starting to rain harder. It's super misty. Okay, let's see what Bob has for us. Nothing in the recycling. Which checks out. And nothing in the dumpster. Look at that fire! Go, spider, go! <laughs> Sorry for disturbing you. Oh, oh, you better run! You better go! Oh, okay, I'll leave it open a little so you can come back. I was making sure he was okay. <laughs> there was a spider! I didn't want to lock him out of the dumpster if that's like where his family is. It's like, that's rude. Nice dreary day here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my gosh. I love something like that. Can you wear that? I don't. Oh, I thought it was something you put on. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Dude, your arms like, wait, no, look, it has to go like this so your face shows. <laughs> so wet down there. Well, there. That's not bad. There's that. I think this fireman's helmet should be donated too because spray paint comes off with uh, like alcohol hand sanitizer. I think that just kind of looks spooky. I wouldn't yeah. even really know that was like spray paint, right. honestly. This thing is too. Yeah, that was a fun little surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this mug. This mug is sick. Yeah, that mug. Got I might keep that mug. I know, I'm like, dang, and that's like a lot in there. Know. Kelly Clowns from Outer Space? Like it was 13 bucks. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen it. Have I seen it? I think we watched it last year, actually. Huh. Where it was should one I put of it? The, like, late night one where we kind of fell asleep. Classic. Here, will you put it maybe with the hammock? Yeah, like in that. Nice. 
cool. Well, that was a fun one. We found a couple Halloween things we can donate. They definitely do. Alex said this, but like the Halloween spirit store kind of dumpsters are really good if you want to fix up something or turn it into a new Halloween costume. A lot of the stuff that we find there is like ripped or like those scepters are broken, but you could glue them onto something else. They're fun dumpsters if you want to do like a crafting project to make your Halloween costume or to make Halloween decor, which if we were at home, I probably would have taken those red scepters, those like three yeah, prong like scepter things. Maybe not. Maybe if you donated them, maybe they would just like take them and sell them. Maybe. It's kind of like hard to know. They're either going to throw them away or sell them, but <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Well, there we go. They don't know. <laughs> I guess we're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Zero sort recycling. Maybe this one. Oh. Oops. Look at that. That almost flew right out of there. I thought this was a pet store. It's definitely some type of restaurant. Okay. That one's like a restaurant, I guess, but like whose? And that looks like the pet store, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Is it gross? Oh, so <laughs> nasty. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Okay. Alrighty. Well. I guess we're moving on. We might end up moving on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. This is a dollar store. It's locked. Oh, it's not locked. I thought it was locked on this side. A little plastic shot glass here. I feel like that's something, that green package, but I'll have to get the ground room. Thank you. Oh yeah, there's Olive Garden Italian or something. Alright, there's a box. So this is an Italian, I guess it's this. Oh look, it says three single serving cups. Okay. There's a little like pencil holder divider. Baggies. Those are opened. because we've been making sandwiches a lot and um, it's still cold. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. That's um, provolone cheese. Eight dollars for that. And this is eight dollar, uh, what is it? Baked ham. And it's cold. I'm putting it right in the cooler. Thank you. 
The only other thing I'm taking is this little snack pack right here. It has like grapes and cheese and stuff. That in the cooler. There we go. That was a lot of um, really nice like meal prep food. So it's kind of crazy uh, to see all of that in the dumpster. Uh, and all of it is, it, I mean, it all does kind of seem still cold. Uh, but that's really awesome. That turkey and cheese, I mean, together that's $16 and we find bread a lot. And so we can do sandwiches with that. And then the little snack pack's just like a great little on the go lunch kind of thing. So that's awesome. We've really been enjoying finding food at that type of store that has the little uh, like specific food bins beside their compactors. It's kind of interesting. That is probably gonna do it for us today. We are headed back to the hotel to get the continental breakfast. And then we probably will find somewhere to donate the um, food that we have in the back as well as some random items that we have for thrift stores like some of the cds uh, but we want to look through them first and try to hang on to any that are fun for our road trip because they did seem to work the one that we put in uh worked great so yeah we're gonna do that and then we might go up to visit like a state park um the next couple days and then we're gonna celebrate my birthday in bar harbor which is gonna be really fun so we'll do more diving and i'll probably vlog a little from this week as well so stay tuned for those it was a fun dive even though we didn't really find that much stuff. Today was definitely better um, than yesterday. So thank you guys for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day. Happy diving and see you next time. Bye.